Welcome to the Serengeti National Park, one of the seven natural wonders of Africa. Let's take a short break from the dry details about Serengeti National Park and look at some of the interesting facts which we can learn from this beautiful place and maybe help you as you plan your safari itinerary to Tanzania's national parks. The Serengeti is renowned for being a location for many of the greatest game viewing opportunities in the world and the Great Migration where the wildebeest migrate annually from Serengeti to the Masai Mara National Park in Kenya. Serengeti is a wonderful world-renowned African national park that attracts many tourists each year to witness its beautiful landscape, abundant wildlife and frequent sightings of lions and other big cats. It is home to a wide range of flora and fauna that can be found nowhere else in the world. We are going to explain 10 interesting facts about Serengeti National Park, but before that, Please don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to be able to get notified when we upload videos like these. Number 10. The name Serengeti As the park has been inhabited by the Maasai people for more than 200 years ago, the name Serengeti is derived from the Maasai language from the word Serenget, which means endless plains. It is an accurate description considering the whole ecosystem in the area, which stretches over 120,000 square miles. The plains are just flat with dotted acacia trees that one see as far as he or she can with no interface. The Serengeti plains cover areas of central Serengeti, southern and north of Ngorogoro conservation area and the north Masai Mara ecosystem. The endless Serengeti plains run from north-central Tanzania to the border of Kenya. The plains are home to wildlife with 35 species of plain animals, more than 450 species of birds, the dominant habitats of zebras, wildebeest, gazelles, cobs, antelopes and the big five. It takes seven hours drive from Arusha town to Serengeti National Park. Number 9. The Maasai Serengeti Plains are the home for the Maasai people who have lived side by side with the animals for a long period. They continue to inhabit the land together with their animals and spearhead the conservation of the park. Visitors to the park can learn about the culture of the Maasai and take some photos too. The Maasai have been herding their cattle for many years in the area, especially in the eastern plains but they had been more present on the west because of the seasonal profusion of the tsetse flies which carry parasites that can be fatal to their cows. They have been ordered by the Tanzanian government to restrict their activities so that they can't disrupt the fragile ecology and tourism economy in the park. Apart from Serengeti, they are also present in other parks like Ngorogoro Crater where approximately 100,000 Maasai live in the conservation area. Number 8. It has the oldest and largest ecosystem in the world. The Serengeti ecosystem is considered to be among the oldest and largest in the world as the climatic patterns, flora and fauna are among the most scientifically important on the planet as they are believed to have changed very little over a million years, giving the area a prehistoric feel. This has been made into a success by the Maasai community that has been living in the area for many years with their cattle. The wild animals, plants and waterways are still largely intact as they were one million years ago. The oldest remains of man which happened more than two million years ago were discovered in Serengeti by the famous East Africa archaeologist Dr. Leakey. The slogan, Serengeti shall not die, from the documentary that was filmed in 1959 is credited for alerting the global community to the urgency of conserving it and its biological values for the benefit of local and global communities. Number 7. Kopjes The kopjes are the piles of ancient rocks that poke through the more recent soils and surface rocks. 
They are often referred to as islands in a sea of grass. In Serengeti, they happened due to the volcanic activity which resulted from the volcanoes in Goro Goro Highlands, which deposited a layer of rocks and ash about 1 million years ago and created a rich and fertile soil that produced short and sweet grass. As the surface rock and soil wear away, they expose the uneven top of the granite layer that forms copias. They provide a unique habitat for a vast array of wild animals, ranging from insects to reptiles to birds to mammals. They are a favorite resting spot for lions as they boast sun-warmed rocks and vegetation for shade. Also cheetahs and leopards can occasionally be seen. The copias were an inspiration for the pride rock in the film The Lion King. Number 6 it is home to Aldoinyo Lingai. What makes the Serengeti ecosystem to have such lush and fertile land for the flora and fauna that inhabit the area is the presence of the Aldoinyo Lingai, which is the only active volcano in the area. The name Aldoinyo Lingai means Mountain of God and it is derived from the Maasai people. Even though climbing the volcano is still dangerous due to the possibility of eruptions and the difficult terrain, the mountain can be climbed in six hours, promising hikers breathtaking views of the Great Rift Valley and volcanic formations in the Ngorogoro Highlands. The record of eruptions in the mountain is between 1880 and 2009. The largest natural carbonatite lava flow ever recorded at Aldoinyo Lengai volcano occurred between 25th March and 5th April 2006. It was associated with Hornito collapse. The rapid eruption of lava covering a third of the crater and the eruption of a 3 km long lava flow on the western flank. Number 5 all three big three cats and big five animals can easily be seen. In Serengeti, the kings of the jungle, lions, are everywhere and often are found on the kill. Cheetahs are also very common in the southeastern plains, while leopards can often be found lazing in one of the big trees along the Serenera River. The Serengeti is considered a home to one of the largest lion populations in Tanzania, with about 3,000 lions. Tanzania's cheetah population is estimated to be around 1,180, which represents just over 10% of the global population. As per 100 square kilometers, it is approximately said that five leopards can be found during the dry season. Other big five animals include more than 7,535 elephants, 30,000 buffaloes and 160 rhinos, which have decreased due to rampant poaching that has been taking place for some years in the park. Many safaris to the park mainly focus on either seeking the big five animals or the Great Migration. Number 4. The Great Migration Serengeti is widely known to host the Great Migration, which involves more than 1.7 million wildebeests, 500,000 zebra and 200,000 antelope that make their way from the Ndudi region of the southern Serengeti northward through the whole length of the endless plains to Kenya's Maasai Mara. The cyclical migration begins in March, after the annual birthing of the calves at Ndutu in February and ends with their return in January, following the annual cycle of rains and fresh grasses. This migration involves a lot of drama along the way, as thousands more are born, replenishing the numbers and sustaining the cycle of life. For anyone who would like to witness this overwhelming and humbling experience, it is advised to visit during August to September as the chances to even witness the river crossing are generally much higher. Also, in early October, when the rainy season in Tanzania commences, the herds will embark on their return journey back to Serengeti. Number 3 among the most visited wildlife sanctuaries in the world. 
having the largest terrestrial mammal migration in the world, Serengeti attracts many visitors from different parts of the world to come and witness the magic that you won't see on TV. Every year, the park receives more than 150,000 international and 100,000 local tourists. Many people who want to visit the park make their bookings early in the year to start witnessing the great migration in the park from August. There are a lot of safari companies that provide budget, mid-range and luxury safari packages with different itinerary options to people who want to visit the park. Serengeti also provides a good wildlife experience all year round where visitors can see all the big five animals. There are several world-class lodges present in the park, so accommodation is not a big issue. Visitors can also sleep in tented camps, which are very cheap and provide a unique experience as they hear wild animal sounds from a distance. Number 2. Among 7 Natural Wonders of Africa The Serengeti National Park was selected on February the 11th, 2013 as one of the 7 Natural Wonders of Africa, thanks to the Great Migration. Accompanied by other wonders from Tanzania like the Mount Kilimanjaro and Ngorogoro Crater, Serengeti features many other attractions that make it the best national park in Africa, with the largest terrestrial mammal migration in the world. It boasts a diversity of flora and fauna that you can't find anywhere else on the globe. Votes were cast by experts from around the world who with no argument noted the key statistical significance that helped to make it among the seven wonders. Every year the park receives more than 150,000 international and 100,000 local tourists that come to the park to witness the beauty of the wild at the park. Serengeti lives up to its hype and it is worth keeping it on your bucket list. Number 1. Award-winning National Park The largest terrestrial mammal migration in the world, the Big Five, the Oldoño Lengai, the unparalleled predator-prey interaction, beautiful landscapes. What else would you ask for in a park featuring all these? Since 2019, the park has won the Africa's Best National Park by the World Travel Awards. In 2021, it has beaten several other national parks from the continent, which are Central Kalahari Game Reserve in Botswana, Itosha National Park in Namibia, Kidipu Valley National Park in Uganda, Kruger National Park in South Africa, and the Maasai National Park in Kenya. Apart from the award, Serengeti is the true essence of the African savanna. It has been featured in an uncountable number of documentaries and several movies which made it to be known globally. One among the widely known Serengeti documentaries is the Serengeti Shall Not Die, which was written and directed by Bernard Jimek. Some of the movies are Hatari, Mugambo, Pride and Jack Hanna's Wild Countdown. In conclusion, the Serengeti is worth your bucket list as it is full of unparalleled experiences and things to do. If you have the chance to visit the Serengeti, do not miss it. It's one of the best experiences of your life. It's time to embark on an unforgettable journey of a lifetime and discover the Serengeti. That's all for today. Please leave a comment, like and subscribe to our channel so you can be able to see all our videos when we upload. Till next time, bye!